Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Dave Koken and Ralph Michaels of wagertalk.com. We're talking Army versus Navy, Saturday, December 12th, 3 o'clock Eastern kick here, Dave. We uh, got some triple option offense. You looking to bet one side or the other? Maybe a total here, Dave? Well, this is the best rivalry in college football. It, it just is. It gets more eyes than any other uh, game on an annual basis for obvious reasons. And even in this year where there aren't going to be a lot of people there, it's still a huge game between uh, two great rivals. And Army's got a little extra motivation coming into this one because they got absolutely blown off the field last year by Malcolm Perry and the Middies. Now, Perry's not there anymore, and it's really shown because Navy just has not been able to find a quarterback to pilot the option this year. Their offense has been really bad. And it just isn't getting any better. Um, you know, you normally see Navy putting up 250, 300 yards rushing. They're not even at 200 this year, and they don't throw it particularly well. They still haven't found a quarterback. The defense has played better down the stretch, so there seems to be an improvement there. But got to be able to move the football. Army, I don't think they're playing at quite the same level they were early in the season when they appeared to be more prepared than some of the teams they were facing. But they're still the better team. They've got a home field advantage. I mean, it is their home field. It may not matter as far as the crowd goes, but uh, the surroundings are favorable to them. And that revenge motive is meaningful. Uh, I think if Army gets a chance to do a little smashing around here and add a score, I think they will. I like the favorite in this game. Like the favorite of seven? That is Army here. And uh, Ralph, throw it over to you here. And also, I do want to recap on, on the total, Ralph. Open 42 and a half. We're seeing it sub 40 right now at 38. But uh, like Dave there, uh, Army minus seven. Are, are you with them like in the uh, the Army side here? I am, but let's talk about the total first, Drew. Um, there's only one way to go in this game, and that's under. In the Army-Navy series, the last 14 games have gone under the total. It, there is only one way to both run the ball, both let the clock run. Both teams know each other so well. Uh, and so to me, uh, I think there's still value. I made the total 37. I grabbed it as soon as it came out. I was surprised it opened this high. Um, you know, last year was 41. A couple years ago, it was 48 and a half. That was when Army won, and they were a seven-point favorite. But I agree. Seven points to me seems almost like a bargain. I look at how a team does compared to an opponent's averages. So Army's defense has held their foes an average of 102 yards below what they normally get. That's number six in the country, holding them to 102 yards. You look at Navy's offense. Navy's offense is gaining 117 yards less than the opponents allow on the season. That's number 126. Rushing numbers Dave mentioned, Navy 3.7 yards per carry, Army 5.0. And on the defensive side, Army allowing 3.9, Navy allowing 5.3. Army and under for me in this, I agree with Dave, the best rivalry in all of sports. Yeah, I, I, I just throw in. I, yeah, go ahead, honestly, I'd, be, I, I'd be surprised if Navy gets to double figures in this game. They just don't have any offense at all. And, you know, if you can't find a quarterback to, to run the option, then the option just doesn't work. And they've tried three or four different guys, none of them have really worked out all season long. I think Army, you know, we saw Army play a really good Cincinnati team and pretty much hold them down uh, with their defense. I don't think they're going to have much trouble uh, facing an offense they're very familiar with. On top of that, I mean, obviously they prepare for the option every day. So I just don't see where the Navy points are going to come from. If this game goes over, I don't, I don't think it will, but if this game goes over, you might be talking about a really lopsided result, something like, you know, 40 to 7, something along those lines. So even though it's a low total, I would agree with Ralph that Army in the under, that's not normally a correlated parlay you'd consider uh, in a game with a total this low, but I think that's the way it, it ends up. Sure, sure. Dave, great point. I mean, laying points with such a low total can be pretty questionable, but maybe talking about the Navy team total, maybe recommending that to the under? I, I, yeah, I, I just, they just can't score and they, they haven't been able to score against some, 
some kind of weak uh, AAC defenses. They just can't get anything going. I've watched them play, and it's just they've got no rhythm to the offense uh, at all. It's just they just don't have the personnel this year. I, I guess you could argue that there's no player that a team has missed more than Malcolm Perry. Drew, to quantify, Dave, uh, what what Army did at Cincinnati, they held Cincinnati to a season low, 331 yards and 14 first downs, and they allowed they allowed them 69 yards per ca- 69 yards rushing, 2.0 yards per carry. Um, just to let you know, guys, I also played the first half under because if if Navy's going to try some trick plays. That'll be later in the game. So I think the first half goes as planned. Both teams try to run their offense. You know, we have a 14-0 game at half or maybe a 17-0. But the first half, I think, gets played as a normal Army-Navy game does. And then if Navy's going to try something fluky, it would be in the second half in desperation mode. He's Ralph Michaels, also Dave Koken, both at wagertalk.com. Guys, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the Army-Navy game, and you see it at the scroll at the bottom. Take 50% off any daily package at wagertalkandsportsmemo.com using the coupon code DAILY50 at checkout. Good at both websites, sportsmemo and wagertalk.com.